Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. I have a little bit of news for you guys. Again, not very much coming out from anybody really lately, but there's a little bit trickling out. I think next week we'll have a lot more once the Toy Fair hits, but as of right now, I do want to let you guys know that the Attack Pack Series 2 or Wave 2, whatever you want to say or call them, of the Dino Rivals has officially started to hit stores. That would be the Celurus and the Herrerasaurus. They have been spotted in quite a few different Walmarts, so I did want to make you guys aware that they are officially on shelves, at least here in the United States. I also wanted to show you guys this image of a potential dinosaur that we could have gotten for the Hasbro line from Jurassic Park 3. This was a Styracosaurus and it was sculpted by David Silva from Creative Beast Studio. And I must say, man, this would have been quite an amazing figure to get had it actually been released. It's honestly very, very sad that we never got this figure because I think this could have quite easily been the best Hasbro Jurassic figure that had ever existed. But unfortunately, it never came to see the light of day. But the pictures were just recently released a few days ago by David Silva himself. So it's nice to take a look back and see what could have been. And in other news, from Prime One Studio, I'm sure a lot of you have probably already seen these, but at Winter Wonderfest, there was a whole bunch of reveals as far as upcoming Jurassic Park statues that they will be releasing. We uh, got a tease on some new Jurassic Park Velociraptors, the original film Raptors. But the things that people are most excited about are the 138th scale Brachiosaurus, which looks quite beautiful and something that I would really love to pick up. However, the last time that I spoke to Prime 1, they actually stated that the 138th scale figures won't be released as of right now in the United States because Chronicle Collectibles is their retailer for releases in the United States and so far they haven't picked them up to sell them. I don't know why, it's actually quite frustrating as I really really want to get them. But as of right now, I guess we aren't getting those here in the United States until something changes. But they also released the Indominus Rex and as you can see it has taken down an Ankylosaur and I think this overall is just absolute beauty and quite easily the best Indominus Rex that we have ever received from anyone ever. This is definitely better than the Chronicle Collectibles one, and uh, again, it's just absolute beautiful. And then something that I think a lot of people were really highly anticipating, and that is the Prime 1 Studio Spinosaurus. I think the base is amazing, having the downed airplane and everything. The Spinosaurus itself really looks quite beautiful, but at the same time, I feel like maybe there's something a little off about it. Maybe the teeth are too small or something, I'm not really too sure. The paint job looks incredible, but the actual model itself looks like maybe there's just a little bit of something off, but at the same time, it's really quite awesome to even see a Spinosaurus model like this. That's something that I would probably pick up depending on price, but again, it's probably gonna be around eight, nine hundred dollars so it might be a little out of my price range. Regardless, it is still quite awesome to look at. So that's really all the news I've got for right now, guys. If anything else happens or comes out, I'll be sure to let you know. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.